This is Larry Munson and the usual crew, and we are speaking to you, as I'm sure you realize, in the Superdome in New Orleans. This is not necessarily the friendliest place in the world to have to play today. And today in the newspaper, by the way, they had 15 reasons why they should hate the Falcons. I was listed in the paper as one of the 15 reasons why they should hate the Falcons. When you look at this rivalry, it was so important to the two teams. I mean, maybe it wasn't as important to the rest of the league, but it was so important to these two ball clubs. I'll be very surprised if today's game isn't extremely exciting. A lot of big plays. The Saints rivalry was uh, probably the biggest rival that Atlanta had, and I loved it. I loved going to play in New Orleans as a Falcon, 100%. Because you know it was gonna be gritty, it was gonna be nasty, it was gonna be dirty, and it was gonna be hype. That was the loudest stadium we've ever been in. Mm -hmm. And when we left, when that game over, it was the quietest stadium <laughs> I've ever been in. And I gotta say they're fans. There was no noise ever like that. And when we threw, these two connected, it went so silent. I looked around, I thought everybody died. <laughs> <laughs> Before, oh, hey, to oh, your oh, point, oh. for seven years, we never audibled there. Yeah. We never audibled in the Superdome. Why not? I mean, it was so loud. Our, loud. Our, yeah, our old lineman would hold hands, Chris Hinton on the edge, Mike Ken, because they couldn't hear me. Yeah. And I'm right here under Jamie Dukes calling the signals, screaming and yelling. Mm -hmm. And it was sure. so loud, and it was such an intense rivalry, the Hoodats versus the Falcons. Yeah. And... Uh, Never audible in seven years, which is unheard of in the National Football League. Wow. Looking at that film, we haven't mentioned Tim Green. Yeah. yeah. And Tim Green, here's a great story. Tim Green was a linebacker when I came. Yeah, that's right. And my office, I had windows I could see the parking lot. Mm. Well, I saw him out there chasing his son. His son was this big. Right. And it took the parking lot to turn around. So I brought him up. I says, I'm moving you to tackle. He goes, you can't do that, Coach. I'm a linebacker. When you can't catch your son in the park. <laughs> <laughs> and he became the number one defensive tackle, tackle in sure football. Did. He, he had a great number career one. tackle. Uh, he, sure did. he was awesome, wasn't he? Yep. I uh, says, he takes you that whole park, and I turn around. We, we got to put your hand on <laughs> He never had his hand on the ground because he's the best. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome so we story. had the same players. We just moved them around a little bit, got them in positions. And, right, you grew up. In New I grew up in New Orleans. So but you, I, but you uh, hate, but you fastest grew, guy in the band. But you, but you grew up hating them, right? Uh, I did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the Saints was the only game in town. They didn't have basketball, didn't have baseball. Mm -hmm. New Orleans Saints was the only team in New Orleans, professional team. Mm -hmm. So everybody, everybody I knew, everybody loved the Saints. And uh, so when I, got, when I got drafted by Atlanta, I mean, I became hated because I'm the kid from New Orleans not playing against the Saints. And I can tell you. I've had some of my best games against the Saints. <laughs> but why I love love going down there and playing again. Why'd you hate the the Saints growing up? Well, when I was growing up, they were the Aints. I don't know if you remember. Oh, you used to have to pay I the don't bags. Bag, yeah. I, don't yeah, I yeah, seen, I've seen video. That. I saw a video. Age, you wouldn't remember. <laughs> yeah, that, but, I saw a video. So they were the Aints. So I mean, they were they weren't very good. Yeah. The Saints historically wasn't very good, mm -hmm. and uh, they hadn't won a playoff. I don't think they ever won a playoff game up until the point. I think it I, it was really the probably late 90s when they won their first playoff game. That was their first playoff game at home. At home when we beat a long them. time. <laughs> we beat them. Okay. So going home as a native and playing against uh, the team that you know you grew up watching, and then all my friends, everybody I know were all Saints fans. So I loved going in there and beating those guys. Awesome. And like you, he talked about the fans there, unbelievable. Those yeah. people loved their team, they and do, they man. cheered for them. <laughs> and when they traveled here, mm. they yeah. brought they brought more thirty thousand people. That whole it section was, totally was all Saints. It wasn't yeah. like you know it was like it was full of Falcon fans. They brought thirty thousand oh, yeah. people to yeah. us, yeah. uh, and same it was the same when we traveled there. We did the same. So the that rivalry was huge. And the thing about their fans in our stadium. They hadn't been to bed since Friday. <laughs> and this was Sunday afternoon. They were awesome, weren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. So it was one of the it was one of it was one of those situations where you're in a in a big rivalry with your team and you go down there and you, you have the fans sitting on their hands. Yeah. Do you do you have memories of friends and or family telling you like not to not to play well against the Saints oh, or anything like that? All my friends, all the guys I went to high school with, I'll tell you I'll tell you a story. Uh, we went down and played the Saints. Uh, it was my 10-year class reunion. Mm. So I was 10 years out of high school, and we had, uh, I had just uh, 
had a really big game against him. Mm -hmm. And so I'm down in there all talking about the Saints this. And the only thing I get to, I was like, you got to look at the scoreboard. And I scored two touchdowns against your team. Wow. <laughs> that was, man, that was huge because they love their team. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And Jesse, is the, is the, the Saints hate something that you – that you get when you walk in Falcons yeah. headquarters, it's like a thing that they give you on the way in. Like, yeah, no doubt about it. <laughs> hey, listen, playing against the Saints, you know, after playing 14 years, obviously I don't play against them a lot. And I'm like, Mike, I've had some of my better games against the Saints over a period of years. And it's almost like a big NFL, you get that college rivalry feel that yeah. when, you, when you play the Saints. And you want to you give your best effort. But I had an extra motivation because I always looked up to Sam Mills, the late Sam Mills, and he was a great inside linebacker for the Saints. But then, you know, you had Bon Johnson, and you had Pat Swillens, and you had Ricky Jackson. Ricky, Ricky Jackson. Jackson. So they had all the linebackers that were pro bowlers, and they had one of my spots that I wanted because I wanted to be a starting pro mm -hmm. bowler. And so I wanted to play my best game against that team for a lot of different reasons. Right. One reason, I don't like them. I didn't like them. <laughs> The fans here didn't like them. No one liked each other. You know what I mean? So, so it just brought the best out of it. You know what I mean? And so, and I wanted to do it, um, you know, personally for myself, for the team, for the city, and for everybody because it was one of them games where you wanted to give your personal best. Yeah. And I think if you look at some of my stats, I think one game I had 24 tackles, the highest wow, I wow. ever made in one wow. game against the Saints. Mm. Wow. And, uh, and I could barely walk coming out of that <laughs> game, you know. And that was the time when they had – um, Hayward there. Iron 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 was a load. Uh, they all was it hitting him? Huh? Oh, I'm oh, telling you, he was, he was a hundred pound running, running back. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dalton Hill. All, all them guys, man, are so that was so competitive. So that environment was a Challenge. great environment to play in because yeah. it take you want to bring it bring the best out of you. So I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, really not only enjoyed I mean, it. that '91 season, it was. To, to finish that season playing against that team. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you you couldn't ask for much more than that. It yeah. was the third time we had played them. There was right. our arch rivals. It was the and best then it ever. was it was yeah. four to move on to the next yeah. round of the playoffs. Yeah. Well, you did. And no, at, I think that year at their place. Yeah. Yeah. Did they beat, exactly. place. Did the they best beat us in Atlanta? No, no. That, we, that first no, 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 they did. They yeah, beat us in Atlanta. We beat them in New Orleans. Yeah, so we swapped on each other's turf. So, yeah, and then we had to play them again that third time. It was weird that the visiting team won that series a lot. Won that series, yes. And, and Chris, you said from a quarterback standpoint, how, how hard was it playing in that away against the Saints? It was just so loud, you know. I mean, when you go in there, you feel like you're at a rock concert where the volume's on high the entire time, like an ACDC concert or something like that, you know, back in the day. And, and when you leave the place, you know, you, you shower up, you go get on the bus, you go to the airport, your ears ring for like the next day. Oh, oh, Seriously, sure. I mean, your ears yeah. are ringing and you're like, and you can't sleep when you get home because you're, you're just, you know, it's just a contact high from being in there. But, you know, I think, I think Jesse touched on some of the guys we played against. You know, it was a hated rivalry, but it was a mutually respected rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. I played in the Pro Bowl in 90, 91, 92, and their four linebackers that Jesse yeah. just mentioned were all there, you know. Mm -hmm. Sam Mills, Vaughn Johnson, Ricky Jackson, Pat Swilling. And then Philadelphia, they had Seth Joyner, Jerome Brown, Reggie White, and uh, Clyde Simmons. Mm. And eight dudes made up two positions in the Pro Bowl, and four of them were Saints players. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, they, their defenses were nasty. It was always a physical game. Always. It was always violent. It was always intense. Uh, the crowd noise was unbelievable. But it was just that much more gratifying when you go in there and beat them we, at their place. We prepared for that game by bringing speakers out to our practices <laughs> uh. and blasting noise because we knew how loud it was going to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Almost smart the thing, the same right. he from brought the speakers. Room. We I mean, actually just brought our no, boom that's box that's the locker room. <laughs> 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 he brought these speakers out, and at practice, he's <laughs> blasting no, this, this music. It's just sound, and it just gets so loud. But we had to function as an I know for an offense, yep. we had to function as offense, not being able to communicate with each other. Mm. He mentioned there are four linebackers. Uh, the pass rush was really unbelievable. So June Jones was a great <coughs> coach. We all know him. And we charted and we charted. And all their games were won when they, they were on defense on third and long. Mm -hmm. They'd knock the ball out. They'd sack the guy. And they would do something to, to win the game. And we'd mm -hmm. watch a film, and they're okay, okay. Then they win the game on third and long. So in your game, I said to June, this is this is how crazy your coach was. Mm -hmm. I'm switching down in distance. I said, we'll throw on every first down and second down. It would treat third and long like run. First we got down. on the airplane. We're laughing. 
we won the game and didn't care about a third down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but they never made a play no, against good. us where they scored on defense. Right. Yeah. And that's how they won. Yeah. So they didn't know what the heck we're doing. Every right. first down, these two cats are throwing it. And then third down, we're running 32 cut on them, you know? Yeah. A draw. It, it, yeah. A draw. It was awesome. Yeah, I got to give you a tribute real quick to my good man, Mike Ken, who played left tackle for He was with the Falcons for 17 years. Right. And that particular season, 1991, going up against Ricky Jackson, Pat Swilling, um, Kevin Green. Oh, wow. He and Charles Haley. He gave up a sack and a half that year. Wow. And I felt bad that he didn't make the Pro Bowl that year. Yeah. He had a Pro Bowl year. He was phenomenal. Yeah. And but I, uh, I got to give a shout out to him because he is, along with Jeff Van Note and Tommy Nobis, Mike Ken, I think is probably known as one of the, Absolutely. the Falcon legends. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. 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 yeah.